Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Today's meditation is about being holy. The Bible portion is from 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 14 to 16. Peter writes these letters to Jewish Christians who are driven out of Jerusalem and scattered throughout, and to believers everywhere. Many first century followers of Christ were suffering and being abused and persecuted for believing and obeying in Jesus. Peter knew persecution firsthand. He had been beaten and jailed. He'd seen fellow Christians die and the church scattered. But he knew Christ, and nothing could shake his confidence in the risen Lord. Peter urged them to be loyal to Christ and to live holy lives. 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 14 to 16 says, As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, Be holy because I am holy. Today we will be talking about what it means to be holy and how holiness means we are set apart unto God. The word holy means to be separate and sanctified. When applied to God, it means that he is totally free of sin. When God calls us to be holy, it means that we are to be set apart from the world unto God and separate from sin. But since sin is present within us, how can we ever hope to be holy? Number one, holy living begins in the mind. Holiness begins in your thoughts Remember, God knows your thoughts. You must guard what enters your mind carefully if you are constantly looking, watching, or reading contents that are sinful and feeding less on God's word. You cannot become holy. Holiness begins in our minds as we think often about Jesus and how we are all saved by grace. Number two, to be holy, we must be obedient to the Father in all of our life. God is our Heavenly Father whom we obey. Peter says, as obedient children, be holy in all your behavior. Peter is saying that because we are separate unto God and we must be mindful of our behavior both in private and in public. We are the only Bible many unbelievers will ever read. Just as we can learn quite a bit about a father by watching his children, so the world learns about our Heavenly Father by watching his children. That means we must learn to obey our Father in all of our work. Number three. To be holy people, we must grow in our knowledge of God's holiness. For it is written in 1 Peter verses 15 and 16, Like the Holy One who called you, you shall be holy, for I am holy. This means that we must know something about this holy God, and we must grow in our knowledge of Him as the Bible teaches us. This knowledge can change our lives. We can and must grow in our personal holiness as we get to know our holy God. As we pursue God, He changes us from the inside out. The Holy Spirit brings to our attention what needs to be changed and gives us the power to make different choices. As we recognize the holiness of God, we will also see the enormous burden of our sin. We can then see the amazing grace of God who saved us with Jesus' blood shed on the cross. This knowledge should make us more holy in everything we do. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, You are a holy God, and I desire to be holy too. Help me to live my life in a manner that is worthy to you and pleasing to you. Create me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Help me to grow in holiness all the days of my life, separate unto you and walking in godly love. I pray this in your precious name. Amen.